Tonight, a hard look at a situation repeatedly frustrating parents and students. It starts with social posts like this one talking about rumors of a shooting plan that day. Suddenly, the posts are shared hundreds of times, leaving parents and students very unsure if there is a real threat. They're often paralyzed with fear until the school officially responds. This very situation played out at Kennesaw State University yesterday. In Cobb County, it took an hour before the school tweeted that there was no credible threat. Caitlin Ross is digging into this scenario that is happening more and more at middle schools, high schools, colleges, and universities, too. Caitlin, it's easy to see how parents and students are getting caught up in all of this. Absolutely. No one we talked to really knows where the rumors about a school shooting started. They say they saw friends talking about it on Twitter. Some pointed back to a private group me message that's been reposted plenty of times. It's a screenshot of a Snapchat message with a student that says they need to call the Klan. But we can't find any posts directly threatening to shoot up campus. Some students say they wish the school had gotten out in front of this issue sooner when the groupie message first started circulating. Tell you anything? Um, I have friends that said they called Kennesaw police. One minute they said we have it under control and then you'd get a couple minutes later and they were like, but we're figuring things out. Still, the question is, are police expected to respond to everything that happens on social media? And if so, how quickly should you expect a response? Some students and parents say these posts can just add to the hysteria. After all, there were students we spoke to on campus today who had no idea this even happened. Social media can escalate things and uh, kind of get things out of perspective, no matter what side of the you know situation you're on. But students say sometimes they rely on their peers to find out what's going on, not the school. God forbid if anything serious would have happened, then Twitter is the only way that we would have known. I think in certain situations it helps because it sheds a light on what's actually going on around us. I think on different apps um, such as GroupMe or Yik Yak, it can be harmful because it's so enclosed where you have these um, students that are able to spread any type of like hate messages between each other and is not in a public light. Interesting, 11 Lives where Atlanta speaks, so we really wanted different people's perspectives on this. Do you think social media helps or hurts these situations? It, on one hand, you want information when it's necessary to be sent out quickly, but in, in cases like this, it, it causes maybe more harm than good. And I think the question is, are they able to respond to every single thing that's posted? This all comes in so quickly, and they want to make sure they have all of the information before they react to it. So it's a difficult situation. Yeah, it's like Pandora's box. I mean, it's impossible to put all of these fires out. You, right. you simply can't do it. Yeah, this is this is what happens. Right. There's a great conversation going on about this on our 11 Live Facebook page, also on Twitter. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the comments that come in coming up at six o'clock. Have a little more there. Yes. All right. Caitlin Ross reporting. Thank you, Caitlin.